I am sure most of you have heard about the Queen of Hearts Angela Lansbury. But did you know she never won an Emmy Award despite being an Oscar winner having a successful and record-breaking career? I am sure you also don't know she played the teapot in Disney's Beauty and the Beast. At the age of 96, Angela Lansbury, the only actress left from the golden acting era, passed away after entertaining audiences for over seven decades on stage and television. For more than 70 years, Angela Lansbury has been a beloved icon among audiences. From her early days in films, to her memorable roles in movies like Murder She Wrote Angela Lansbury was an integral part of Hollywood. Born in East London on October 16, 1925, emigrated to the U.S. with her family during the Second World War, she developed her innate flair for performing while she was a resident of New York City. In contrast to the typical struggles most aspiring performers have, Lansbury's path to the top was relatively straightforward, and her performance in the 1944 picture Gaslight earned her an Oscar nomination. With all these known facts let us take you on an interesting journey of 10 things you might not know about Angela Lansbury. Here we begin. Number 10, Lansbury was married twice. Twice married, Angela Lansbury gave birth to three kids which she immensely loved and adored. When she was 19, and he was 35, she eloped and wed her first husband, actor Richard Cromwell. Although they divorced a year later, they remained close until his passing in 1960. Peter Shaw, her second husband, married her in 1949, they were married for 54 years till he passed away in 2003. The couple had two children together, Anthony Peter and Deidre and, and she had a stepchild named David, who was Peter's from a prior marriage. Deidre, 67, runs a restaurant in West Hollywood and Anthony, 68, has directed 69 episodes of the television series Murder She Wrote. Number 9, When Did Lansbury Discover the Bug for Acting? After her father passed away from stomach cancer when Lansbury was nine years old, she first developed an interest in acting as a way to deal with her grief. His death, according to Lansbury, was the defining moment of my life, she said in 2014. Nothing has ever struck me so profoundly before or after. Her mother, the Irish actress Moyna McGill, performed in Tonight at 8.30 at the Samovar Club in Montreal so she traveled about doing stage work to help them both cope. This led to Angela getting her first entertainment business job, her nightclub act. Lansbury claimed to be 19 even though she was just 16 when performing. After stepping into the industry, she gave many iconic performances for everyone to remember, Lansbury stunned generations of fans as a murderous baker, a singing teapot, a Soviet spy, and a small-town detective. Number 8. Why did she leave England and move to New York? Angela Bridget Lansbury, born in East London on October 16, 1925, emigrated to the U.S. with her family during the Second World War. She developed her innate flair for performing while she was a resident of New York City. In contrast to the typical struggles most aspiring performers have, Lansbury's path to the top was relatively straightforward and her performance in the 1944 picture Gaslight earned her an Oscar nomination. During the Blitz in 1940, Lansbury was compelled to leave England with her mother and two brothers. The family moved to the US, and Lansbury eventually enrolled in an acting program in New York City. Lansbury is a citizen of not one, not two, but three countries. Her passports list England, where she was born, Ireland, where her mother is from, and the United States, where she was adopted. And despite Lansbury's lengthy and successful career in the United States, she never forgot about her native country or heritage. Number 7, is her success regarded as the fruit of her hard work, or was it just beginner's luck? After accepting a deal with MGM in 1942, Lansbury was put to work immediately and received an Oscar nomination for her first major motion picture, 1944's Gaslight. Lansbury never had to sulk in insignificance. At the time of filming, Lansbury was only 17 years old, but she more than held her own against co-stars Joseph Cotton and Ingrid Bergman. The Academy recognized her efforts by nominating her for Best Supporting Actress. Despite her consistent theater and film work during the 1950s, 1960s, and 1970s, 
It was her portrayal as Jessica Fletcher on the TV series Murder She Wrote that solidified her reputation as a British acting legend. The series, which ran from 1984 until 1996, attracted a fervent fan base and gave Lansbury a long period of stable work. It even aided her in getting the part of Mrs. Potts, the sympathetic teapot, in 1994. Number 6, Did She Have Some Genuine Friends in the Film Industry? B. Arthur, who starred in The Golden Girls, was one of Lansbury's closest friends. They first became friends while performing together in the 1966 theatrical version of MAME. Lansbury reportedly honored her friend by giving Jessica Fletcher in Murder She Wrote the middle name, Beatrice, in her honor. Unfortunately, in 2009, Arthur passed away. However, their friendship is still remembered in the best golden words. Elizabeth Taylor, deceased 2011, and Lansbury were longtime friends, after meeting on the set of the 1944 film National Velvet, in which Lansbury played Taylor's older sister. Number 5, was Angela the first choice for playing her very famous role? Although it's hard to imagine anybody other than Lansbury playing Jessica Fletcher, it turns out that the actress wasn't initially considered for what would end up being her most prominent part. Star of All in the Family Jean Stapleton initially turned down the role after being given it, and other reports claim Doris Day did the same. However, she is still remembered as Jessica Fletcher, and will always be remembered as it. Number 4, She Made It to the Guinness World Records Yes, the most famous detective in Cabot Cove is documented. The fictional character holds the title of most prolific amateur sleuth, according to Guinness World Records. According to the record, Fletcher investigated crimes for 265 episodes and four feature-length movies, and even though Agatha Christie's renowned sleuth Miss Marple has appeared on screen for more years in various television appearances, she has had fewer small-screen cases. Number 3, Has Angela Lansbury Ever Received an Emmy for Her Work? With 18 nominations and zero wins over 33 years, Lansbury has the terrible distinction of having suffered the most Emmy losses. Her depiction of the adored Jessica Fletcher in Murder She Wrote, however, earned her 12 of the 18 nominations. She was nominated for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series every year the show ran. Even yet, Lansbury more than makes up for her lack of Emmys with Tony Awards. She holds the Guinness World Record for most Tony Awards won for Best Actress in a Musical, with four, in addition to her five Tony wins, which tie her for second place among all performers in terms of awards. Since Lansbury rose to prominence on television, some fans might have forgotten about her significant cinematic career during the age of black and white movies, and the three Best Supporting Actress Oscar nominations she earned for three renowned films. Number 2, How Did She Become a Dame? In 2014, Lansbury received the DBE, Dame Commander of the British Empire, award from Queen Elizabeth II at a ceremony held at Windsor Castle. For her contributions to play, charitable work, and philanthropy at Windsor Castle, Lansbury was named Commander of the Order of the British Empire, CBE, in 1994. She was then elevated to Dame Commander of the Order of the British Empire, DBE, in the 2014 New Year Honours. I'm joining a wonderful group of women I admire, like Judy Dench and Maggie Smith, stated Lansbury upon receiving the title of Dame from Queen Elizabeth II. Receiving that stamp of approval from your nation is great, and I value it. Number 1, What Reasons Drove Angela to the Screen? Speaking of television, Lansbury admitted to UK's Mirror that the financial incentive led her to choose to participate in Murder She Wrote. As a result, I made a very explicit decision to pursue a career in television. There comes a period in a theatrical life when you say to yourself, well, I can't make any money in the theater. From having a star-studded life to financial losses and tragic past her life, was all about a roller coaster ride. Thank you for watching Celebrity Fab. Please make sure to subscribe and never miss a video.